What's up, everyone? This is Illinois Divorce TV. My name is Bobby Buchanan, divorce attorney here in Chicago. Today's question is a general one. How does divorce work in Illinois anyway? So what I'm thinking for this video is I'm just going to break down the process for you or, or kind of how people get from the place of saying, you know what, my marriage is over to actually being divorced. What does that actually look like in practical terms? Well, in practical terms, the final document that you need to make you divorced is called a judgment for dissolution of marriage. So the question is, how do you get from where you are now deciding that you want to be divorced to getting a judge to sign this judgment for dissolution of marriage? Well, first, let's talk about what is in the judgment for dissolution of marriage. The judgment, as we'll call it, outlines how all your rights are resolved in a divorce. So when you get married and then divorced, there are certain rights that are created and then really have to be resolved, as we'll call it. For example, when you get married, all of the income that you and your spouse accumulate, whether it's in your name or their name, generally speaking, all the money that you're earning, there are exceptions, is going to be called marital property. And that marital property has to be split. Anything else that you acquire during the marriage, and there are exceptions again, has to be split. So that's one thing that the judgment has to include is how that property is going to be split. How are you going to split that equity in the house? How are you going to split the retirement assets that have been accumulated? Equally so are the debts. How are you going to split the debts that you have accumulated? And then there's the question of what property is not included as marital? What debts are not marital? What we call non-marital property and debts. And that judgment's going to outline that property as well. Then there's questions of maintenance and child support. Is your financial situation one where you have the right to get maintenance, meaning a monthly payment from your spouse because of an income discrepancy between you two, because of a lifestyle that you used to live during your marriage or that you're currently living during your marriage and the law says that you have the right to maintain that while you rehabilitate yourself in the workforce? Child support. Do you have children? Are you going to be the primary parent? Then you have an entitlement to child support. So the judgment for dissolution of marriage is going to include that. Child support's a little bit more nuanced. All this stuff is a little bit more nuanced than I can talk to you about in this brief video, but I just want to give you a framework to think about all of this. So that's kind of the property stuff. There's more nuanced property issues that arise with each individual case, you know, maybe your house is underwater. It doesn't have any equity in it and you're going to have to sell it. And somebody's going to have to pay the mortgage while you're selling it. All of that stuff is included in the final judgment. And then if you have kids, there's going to be the custody portion or called allocation and parental responsibilities. And that's going to lay out the schedule that you and your spouse have your responsibilities as far as decision making and your rights to see the child and your responsibilities in taking care of the child or children. So those are the kind of the general things that are going to be in that final judgment. How you get there is dependent on how much cooperation there is between you and your spouse. So if you and your spouse are getting along well enough and you both are on the same page about the fact that you're going to get divorced, but you know that you need to think through some of these issues, you might contact a mediator and say, hey, we just need to sit down and think through all this stuff and kind of do a little negotiation here or there. Or maybe your situation is more complicated and you say, I think I need to talk to a lawyer first to get a grasp of what my rights are. And then that lawyer can put together a proposal and send it to your spouse. A proposal, that final judgment being the proposal. Or maybe your situation is so simple that you can just go online, 
get form judgments, uh, a form judgment, and fill it out with all the pertinent information, get your spouse to sign it, and then figure out those little steps that you need to do to get that final court date to get the judge to sign off on it. So how divorce works really depends on how complicated your situation is and how much agreement you're going to get from the other side. But it all comes down to that one final document and how you get there. How do you get to the judgment for dissolution of marriage? I hope this has clarified some things for you. In the comments, you can put your comments, your questions, concerns, anything like that. I'll continue the conversation with you down there. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.